you guys do. How many of these videos are there? I, I can't take it. Oh, guys, you're depressing me today. You can actually pinpoint the second when his heart rips in half. And now. Alrighty, folks, we are back for another round of never-ending torture from my producers. They have called the worst of TikTok. They're going to force me to watch these like it's a clockwork orange, and I'm going to respond to them. So prepare for the suffering. Oh, please make it stop. I'm just going to post this every time people ask me the same questions over and over again. My name's Farah. I am a trans woman as well as an intersex woman. My pronouns are she, her, they, them, or your grace. Uh, my eyes are tattooed. My nose is a piercing. I identify as a threat, a nightmare, and a goddess, so please bow down to me. I do not believe in God, I don't worship the devil, but yes, I am a Satanist, which means I am my own God and I worship myself. Thank you, have a good day. The last part's true. I mean, to do this, you really must worship yourself. But, but I'm the best. I have questions just about, you know, decision making. I have questions about what happens when you have a cold, but you have a giant hole that you have put in the side of your nose with apparently some sort of heart hole punch? I, I, I just have, I have many questions. None of them are, uh, honestly, I'm not sure I want to hear the answers. Uh, I, I mostly just want to bury my head under a pillow and scream, I think. So I saw this video of a cop forcingly removing a mass subway commuter for asking him to put on a mask. And at first I was confused because there are signs all over the subway stations and subway cars asking people to wear a mask. But then it occurred to me, maybe the NYPD don't know how to read. So I skated to my local mask stand in Chinatown to pick up some masks for them and myself. Just because unemployment benefits ended and the government deems the economy more important than human lives doesn't mean that we're not still in a pandemic. Next, I went to Dunkin' Donuts to get some pig bait. I thought my look was giving, but not everyone seemed to agree. Finally, I hopped the turnstile like all New Yorkers do. If you're upset that I committed fare evasion, I just want to let you know, I'm just following the examples of the pigs in this video. Previously, when I tried to give them masks as it was mandated on their job as cases were skyrocketing, they refused them. So this time I got creative and attached masks to a fishing pole with donuts as bait. And finally, it was time for me to go fishing. Okay, they say we don't have a, enough of a social welfare net here in the United States. Let me just point out that this human being spent their entire day doing this and putting it on TikTok and somehow is still going to have enough to eat for dinner. So I would suggest that we need to uh, change our incentive structure. Maybe you should get a jab. All these videos are, are just filled with, with practical questions. Like, how do you skateboard in those heels? If I'm a cop, nothing says I'm going to comply with your demands that I wear a mask quite like you giving me quote-unquote pig bait. What, what delights these... Fo you guys do So I have this thing, call it a little quirk, if you will. I have hair in my armpits. I have it there for a few reasons. One, lazy. Two, f the patriarchy. And three, your response to them tells me everything I need to know about you. Don't worry, they're not seeking attention. No one, none of these people are seeking attention. It's amazing. They just, they, they demand nothing of you, right? This was the argument. Wasn't this always the argument? The argument was, they're not demanding. They just want to live life the way they want to live life, except they demand your full acceptance. If you look at people and you say, um, it's strange that you have decided to shave the front of your head, leave a ponytail, and leave your armpits unshaven while wearing sleeveless shirts, that's my problem? It seems like more it's your problem. Don't demand my attention, and then when I give you the attention, you get very offended by the attention. It's, it's the most childish crap ever. Seriously, it's super childish. It's what my, it's what my five-year-old does. Insubordinate and churlish. Act like children, be treated like children, seriously. This is our son. Man, I feel bad for this kid. I seriously, I feel bad for the kid. I mean, there, there will be a kid born into a family without a proper father and mother. That's sad. Here's the thing. It's all fun and games until two generations from now there are no children and our society is a complete wreck and waste of itself. There are other societies that have not decided to carve out the heart from maleness and femaleness and those societies will continue to thrive and exist. Ours simply will not. We'll get to more woke TikToks in just one moment. First, let's talk about how Daily Wire was built. So when we started Daily Wire, it literally was like seven of us in a pool house filming my podcast. But then we decided we were going to grow. And the way to grow was we had to focus in on data. We had to focus in on marketing. We needed to make smart business decisions that were data driven. And every company needs to do that. 
Every company strives to have unique values and a long-lasting impact. It's time to position your company as an industry leader, create buzz, attract new customers, and generate consistent revenue. Giant Partners is here to help you do it. Giant Partners are America's number one data-driven marketing agency. They operate in the business-to-business space, offering a variety of business marketing solutions like database marketing, brand development, web design, SEO, lead generation, digital marketing services, and ad placement. That's just to name a few of their services. Whether you own a small family business or handle millions in revenue every year, Giant Partners can help you get to the next level. Their marketing strategies are research-driven. They're equipped with 20 years of data experience. Don't take my word for it. Their largest customers include BMW Nationwide, Ohio State University, 3M, and Ethan Allen. So head on over to GiantPartners.com. Get your business set up today. So I am a cis woman with IBS, and I use the men's bathroom. And I've seen a lot of videos of trans men who are in bath- public bathroom stalls with somebody in a stall next to them just farting and shitting and being gross. I have a question. Stop it right there. Why are there videos online of people in stalls in bathrooms, period? Doesn't that make you the perv? Also, what else are you supposed to do in a bathroom stall? I mean, aside from like if you're Larry Craig and you're actually like trying to solicit some sort of action in a public restroom... Uh, what are you supposed to be doing except for taking a dump in the toilet? That's right, buddy. You show that turd who's boss. Okay, we can continue, but I don't know why we're continuing. Really, I don't want to. I want to run directly through this wall, leaving a Ben Shapiro-sized hole in the wall. That's what I want to do right now. And it just makes me think about this time that I was in the Walmart bathroom just having a bad IBS episode in the men's bathroom. Um, And I was the one just blowing it up. And it wasn't until much later that... um, (laughs) There was, I noticed there was just a silent guy in the stall. Like, very, like after like five minutes of just me being disgusting, uh, I hear like a little shift. And I'm like, and so every time I see those videos of trans guys talking about how gross men are in the bathroom, I never want to be invalidating, but I want to be like, what if it's a woman? It could be a woman. It could be me. What if it's me? So that's the takeaway. The takeaway is that women take dumps too. That's impossible. Yeah. Yeah. How many of these videos are there? I, I can't take it. My, my my brain cells are all dying. By the time we get to the end of these TikTok videos, I will not be a functional human being. I'm just going to be babbling in cream of wheat like Joe Biden by the time. You, you've destroyed all of my neuronal connections. No nuance November. Here's everything that's wrong with America. Let's go. Firstly, for context, my name's Emma. I live in Australia and I have degrees in sociology and law. Okay, stop for a second. One, degree in sociology. You're a professional useless person. Two, you're in Australia. I don't want to hear about your opinions on what's wrong with America. I don't give a sh- I really don't care. Like, are you, you're, you're, you're busily locked down like for the 900th consecutive day on, on an island. Like, c- congratulations to you. Why, why would I? One of my favorite things about the left is that they think that I give any sh- at all about what foreigners think of the United States. Like, I do not care. I, do, I could not care less. Number one, in a surprise to no one, what's wrong with America? Guns. Y'all are obsessed with your right to bear arms. Here's a concept. I don't give a sh- The feeling is mutual, lady. Why, why do I care about your feelings about our right to bear arms? Guns. I don't like your guns. Well, good. You live in Australia. Stay there. No one asked you. Do you see this person next to me? E is my friend. C has had to put up with a lot to get to where Purr is today. I just want to let Glint know that Thon is valid, that verb pronouns are valid, and that Sarah identity is valid. I wish Void all the best and look forward to maybe even seeing some of their lovely content someday. Please treat them with respect and I'm sure A will respect you too. Is there a person next to this person? They said E is next to Jim, which is next to Void, which is next to Zerbi, Ver, E, Ah Ooh, Ah Ah, Ting Tang, Walla Walla Bing Bang, Ooh E, Ooh Ah Ah, Ting Tang, Walla Walla Bing Bang. I have no idea what that was. I, I, maybe it's a brilliant form of, really, like I, I made a Clockwork Orange reference before we even began. I'm wondering if this is just like a brilliant new form of sci-fi that is filled with, you know, various new terms. Like it, you're having a, a, a milk, but it's, it's, it's an actual like alcoholic beverage. And I just, I don't know. Where, I, go, just go. Is this the last one? Please, God, is this the last one? So it was two, you lied to me. More no nuance November, I guess. This one is simply, if I'm pissing off Ben Shapiro, I must be doing something right. You haven't pissed me off. I don't, I don't understand who you are. Which, which person is this? Pronouns E, M, R, R, Z, 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 or really any neo pronouns. That's the same person? Well, I'm glad this person grew out their hair. So that's, that's good. 
I'm, I'm proud of Gigi Void Mc, McE. We've crossed all barriers now. They make TikTok videos. I respond to the TikTok videos and then they completely change into different characters and respond to my TikTok videos. And then I respond to their TikTok videos. It's an infinite regress of brain melting stupidity. his will to live. I got, I got nothing for you. This is no longer cute. You need to go get a job. Stop being dependent on the public dime. All of you people on TikTok, go get jobs. Become productive humans. Enter into meaningful relationships. Go do something useful with your lives. Please, for the love of God. Well, now that um, what is left of my brain, what is left of my brain is not allowing me to say words in sentences anymore. Yeah, guys, you keep going this way. You keep torturing me this way. You keep demanding in the comments that I continue to make these woke TikTok response videos. You keep doing this and you will get me to run for president eventually. And I will be just as dysfunctional and non-functional as the current president of the United States. Just like there will be no brains left in my head. Mr. President, have you gone completely insane? Like a fox. I, 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 TikTok to Linda Est. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills.